that's so funny. So the people that watch her are already apologizing for what they've done. The people that watch her, it's a YouTube channel. They announced that they're going to be moving all their new content on the streaming platform, on their own streaming platform. They cost $5 a month, which is a lot of money for people, especially when you got to consider how many streaming platforms there are. And it's not, it's just not worth it for YouTube channel to like do this, like literally just do a Patreon, except they do have a Patreon and they make a lot of money off of their Patreon. So why do they need a streaming service for this? I don't know. But basically everybody else had the same opinion and was like, the watcher, you're cringe. You know who did something like this? Rooster Teeth. And look at them now, they fell off. I guess I should give an introduction to Watcher. They made like content on Buzzfeed before, like Unsolved Mysteries. I've honestly never heard of them before this drama, but their content is like, it's more high produced kind of stuff. Anyways, they've now just announced that they're gonna no longer do their plan and they're gonna make like their streaming service like another Patreon basically, where they drop stuff early. And it's like, bro, okay i guess that fixes stuff kind of it's just like bro like this company is clearly greedy like they got like three tiers on patreon and then they've got a streaming service thing they were gonna do and then it's only the public backlash where they're like damn okay maybe we shouldn't do that like bro i mean these people are just kind of greedy like i don't know how to put it like these people are just straight up greedy like it's it's all it's comedically funny to be honest like Bro, you don't need, you don't gotta be doing all this. Like, I'm assuming they're making hella money based off of brand deals and stuff. So I don't know why they feel the need to do all this. But that's the current situation with the with the watcher.